Hello guys and girls, Roger back with another video. We are going back to basics. What is infrastructure as code? I ask this question in my interviews and all I get is mumbo jumbo. So let's demystify that once and for all. All right, let's get into it. So let's start from the beginning. In not so olden days, everyone was running in data center and you were probably thinking, I want to fly in the cloud. And then thankfully, cloud got invented and people like you and me started learning it. And this is how things went in the beginning. An almighty developer logs into the AWS management console in one of the account and start spinning up AWS infrastructure like EC2, RDS, Lambda, and that was pretty powerful. And the developer was feeling good until the boss said, hey, that was just one account. Can you spin up the same infrastructure in the rest of the 99 accounts? So that is pretty painful to log into the console for all the accounts for the enterprise and spin up all the stuff manually and also it is very easy to mess something up in the console. If you forget to click something or forget to select the right option from the drop down, your infrastructure could be messed up. So at this point, the developer was probably saying, I just wanna code cool stuff. So say hello to infrastructure as code. So instead of the developer going to the management console and spinning all this infrastructure manually, he or she writes some code to provision the infrastructure. So this code will look something like, hey, spin one EC2 with this configuration, spin one Amazon RDS with this kind of parameters and this kind of configuration, and spin AWS Lambda with this much memory, this much timeout, and this is the code. So that's how infrastructure as code was born. So it is a process of provisioning and managing infrastructure using code. It is human readable and machine consumable. Since this is machine consumable, what that means is you can rerun the same code in multiple AWS accounts and spin up the same infrastructure without you going into the console of all these accounts and spinning things up manually. In AWS, there are two services which lets you codify your infrastructure. One is AWS CloudFormation and the newest one is AWS CDK or AWS Cloud Development Kit. So what are some of the benefits of infrastructure as code? First is visibility. As infrastructure as code serves as a very clear reference of what resources are on your account and what their settings are, you don't have to navigate to the console to check the parameters and all the different settings. It makes it very easy to track and manage infrastructure. Next is stability. If you accidentally change the wrong setting or delete the wrong resource using the console, you can break things. But infrastructure as code is a piece of code. So you can version control it using Git, you can have proper branching strategy, uh, you can review it and then standardize the template. It helps prevent those kind of accidental mess ups. One of the most important benefit of infrastructure code is scalability. With infrastructure as code, you can write it once and reuse it many times. This means that one well-written template can be used as the basis for multiple services in multiple regions, making it much easier to horizontally scale. Okay, a little bit of uh, self-promotion incoming. A lot of my students have been asking me for creating a course on infrastructure as code, especially with CDK, and how can they be automated using uh, DevOps tools. Uh, so I've been working on this uh, course for like last six to seven months, so it took way longer uh, because I've been super busy. Uh, however, I, I just edited my final video and then submitted for review. I'm going to name it uh, Rocking AWS CloudFormation, CDK with DevOps and Interview Guide. Uh, let me know what you guys and girls think about the name. I still haven't clicked the final red submit button yet. Uh, so if you guys and girls have a better name, let me know. Uh, this will include CloudFormation, 
uh, both uh, basic cloud formation and advanced cloud formation. And then it will have a chapter on uh, how to run cloud formation using DevOps tools. Uh, we're going to go over Jenkins, uh, Terraform, and my favorite DevOps tool, AWS Code Pipeline. And then we have a full chapter on CDK. Uh, super excited. I recorded a lot of videos on CDK. Uh, especially uh, excited to share my cheat sheet on how to code any CDKs. And finally, uh, interview guide. I have questions, answers for CloudFormation, CDK, and also tips and tricks uh, for general cloud interview, which I shared uh, a lot of it in my YouTube channel as well. Uh, so yeah, so to keep an eye out. I'll share the course link and a coupon code when the course gets released. Uh, but anyway, back, back to the video. Next benefit is security. Since infrastructure as code gives you a unified template for how to deploy your architecture, if you create one well-secured architecture, you can reuse it multiple times. And you know that each deployed version is following the same settings. Also, infrastructure as code is transactional. What that means is it not only creates resources on your AWS account, but also waits for them to stabilize while they start. It verifies that provisioning was successful and if there is a failure, it can gracefully roll the infrastructure back to a past known good state. Basically, based on the results of the previous transactions, you can tell it what to do next. All right, guys and girls, that is the video. If you like this video, please smash that like button and click subscribe. I will see you guys and girls in the next video. Bye.